Hello guys, this is Joy Madhul here. At first, if you like the video, please share it with your friends and your respective comment below here. For video clips, all credits go to the movie owner. We make which are truly hidden gems to entertain people. This video is all about explaining the movie from our own point of view. For the explanation, we have used most of the video clips from the movie for better understanding. Stay with us till the end. Enjoy the video. We witness a man named Luo resting sufficiently toward the beginning of the story. In the meantime, a pony comes to him and awakens him by holding his hair from its mouth and afterward takes his mouth out and suffocates him in the water. As a matter of fact, this pony used to awaken his lord similarly. They go to a spot. Luo ties his pony and starts resting at a spot. Luo's po name was Red. Later, two men are seen going on their ponies and conversing with one another while checking Luo out. They say he is Luo, he used to be a stand in films, he had brought in a ton of cash by doing stunts yet, take a gander at how terrible his condition is today that he couldn't eat two feasts appropriately. Presently one night Luo was sitting in the lodging exhausting brew bottles. In reality, he was stressed over his neediness when a man comes to him named Dami. Luo had acquired some cash from him which he was unable to return till today. Da Mi says on the off chance that you can't return my cash then give me your pony, and I will pardon every one of your obligations in any case, Luo will not give his pony red and says, you disappear from here. Hearing this, Da Mi becomes angered and tells Luo I will take your pony. This prompts a battle between the two. Luo first shows Da Mi and his men a thing or two and afterward he goes out and saves his pony. He sits on his pony drives him away and arrives at a carnival where he plays out certain tricks also, conceals his pony from Da Mi and his men. He was additionally concealing there a result of it, Da Mi and her men couldn't see him and go on from that point. The following morning, when Luo was on his structure with his pony red, two men came there who were let Luo know that you need to return the pony you had on the grounds that the pony proprietor was battling a case yet, presently he has won that case so he needs his pony back. He needs to give it in close out. Then, at that point, a young lady and a man there who were doing unusual stunts they really used to remain with Luo, the two men who had brought the notification got terrified seeing them and left. After their takeoff, Luo shows the notification to the young lady that the two men had given him anyway, that he should return the pony. In the wake of knowing it all, the young lady focuses to the image of Luo's little girl and says we want a legal counselor for this case. Presently in the following scene, we see Luo's girl who was delightful and blameless. Luo comes to his girl and requests help by telling her the entire issue be that as it may, Luo's girl won't help her father and says father, I'm not a legal counselor yet, I'm actually concentrating on regulation. Saying this, she leaves. Luo had likewise left from that point. His little girl presently goes to a decent kid companion of hers and furthermore loved her a ton he is likewise a legal counselor. Luo was miserable at home and contemplating what to do so his pony wouldn't go a long way from him. Then a man comes to him who was a filmmaker. He says I have heard a ton about you and your pony. I give you a proposal to work with your pony in my movies and stunts. Luo was glad to hear this and furthermore showed tricks to the maker with his pony. Luo's little girl was eating with her companion. Luo's little girl's companion says I like you and need to get hitched. Let me know when would it be advisable for me to acquaint my family with you? Luo's girl says you realize that I have nobody in this world so I will choose when I need to get hitched and when not implies that Luo's little girl could have done without her father by any means. That is the reason she didn't actually inform anybody concerning him. Luo's better half had kicked the bucket a couple of years prior, she just came to her girl's considerations. At some point, she tells her little girl don't divert your face from your father on the off chance that your father comes this time, if it's not too much trouble, converse with him pleasantly. Luo's girl grasped her mom's words at the point when she was eating in an inn, she saw her father coming from a good ways. He was in strange garments and had likewise improved his pony. Luo really needed to show individual stunts with his pony. Individuals ought to take pictures with them and offer some cash as a trade-off. Luo additionally shows stunts here however it doesn't help, neither does anybody come to him nor gives him cash. Luo's girl was additionally sitting and observing this, she could do without her father by any means. 
That is the reason she goes to meet Luo and says I have a companion who can battle your case. Luo's girl was discussing the kid who enjoyed her. She came to her father's structure and taken a gander at everything intently. She becomes glad to meet Red. Presently Red was additionally paying attention to all that Luo's girl said. Inevitably, Luo's little girl's companion additionally comes yet he gets frightened to see the bizarre things around him. Luo's little girl comes and says while putting her hand on his hand, "Look, don't be apprehensive furthermore," says, "Haven't you chosen at this point what to do?" Then the discussion begins among them and presently the story from quite a while back is shown. Liu got the pony harmed, he took care of it and relieved it. He likewise told it not to at any point sit kneeling down. Presently the story returns to the present. Luo acquaints his girl's companion with his pony. Red however he is terrified to see it. According to Luo, don't be apprehensive. This is a decent pony and it is simply messing around with you. In the meantime, Red tumbled down while showing stunts. The following day, Luo took Red with him and arrived at the shooting where his girl additionally came to see his tricks. However, Red is terrified to see such a lot of group and can't perform stunts as expected. Along these lines, they were eliminated from the shooting. Seeing this, Luo sits in one spot. He was miserable. Then, at that point, Red came to him and requested that he take a cap on his head. However, Luo was irate to the point that he tossed the cap. Then, at that point, Liu's girl comes to Red and says, "Look, we are not driving you to do these tricks. Then do it. In any case, it is your desire." Hearing this, the pony goes to do stunts in the film's shooting. Luo's girl likewise comes to her father and expresses, "Come on, father, your pony is prepared." After it, both show great tricks. All over, Red and Liu were being lauded. Luo was glad to see this, and presently the two of them proceed with their work in the film. At some point, similar two men come to Luo again, whom we saw toward the start of the story. He again carried a notification to Luo to take the pony. According to Liu's girl, look, this pony and its rider are not possessed by anybody, so you can go from here. Furthermore, the notification that the man had brought, Red conceals it and pushes these two men. Around evening time, Luo was sitting with his girl and eating food in the lodging. That is when Dami came to them once more. He came to request cash from Luo and was additionally talking impolitely. Seeing this, Red lashes out, drives Dami and discards him. Similar to this, they have a battle here once more. In this battle, Luo's pony was likewise hitting everybody. Liu rapidly takes his little girl and leaves while causing her to sit on his pony. It is shown that like this, Liu and the pony meet in the film and do stunts and bring in a ton of cash. That is when father gets injured during stunts. Seeing this, Luo's girl was currently furious. She comes to her father and says, "When will you quit doing these tricks, father? For what reason might you at any point do some other work?" Hearing this, Luo offers no response. In any case, in the early morning, Luo goes to meet his companion's family with his little girl who needed to wed Luo's little girl who was likewise a legal counselor and was likewise helping Luo for red situation. Luo was not feeling great sitting in that frame of mind among those individuals and he is likewise doing weird things. On this, Liu's little girl says relax, my father can't coexist with enormous individuals. He is basic. Hearing this, Luo additionally says okay. I'm like this however my little girl is great don't dismiss her as a result of me. Presently after they leave Luo's little girl chides her father a great deal and resents not acting great. Around evening time Luo's little girl is sitting in front of the television with Red and becomes glad to see her father Luo's tricks. Luo likewise came there and he was having a great time watching his video with his girl. That is the point at which he recollects his old minutes here. His little girl says, "You are cool, father." Both had tears in their eyes. Luo recollects that once during these tricks, he had a profound head injury. In light of this injury, Luo needed to remain in a state of unconsciousness for quite a long time. All things considered, Luo was telling everything to his little girl. According to he, during these eight months when I accomplished no work, along these lines, my condition became this way. On account of my sickness, I was unable to try and meet your mom. His little girl pays attention to all that and says, "Don't stress over mother. She excused you. She frequently comes into my viewpoints."
Then again, we see that Da Mi had come to Red on the homestead and was attempting to make it cognizant by infusing it so he can take it with him however at that point Red's eyes open. Every one of them attempted to get him and Red was attempting to escape from every one of them. Before Da Mi can get him, Luo comes there and beats them a ton. Then, at that point, he brings him down from a seat. Along these lines, Luo had driven Dami and his sidekicks from there. Presently the following morning, a film star entertainer comes to Luo, and the two of them have tea and gab. The entertainer says I need to make a film with you and your pony about whom I to have heard a great deal however Luo denies him. At any rate, he left from that point. On that very night, when his little girl accompanies her legal advisor companion, she says, Father, we have tracked down proof for Reddit can now live with you. Hearing this, Luo becomes cheerful. Presently he lets his girl know that a renowned entertainer has come to me. He needs to offer me a film yet hearing this, his girl blows up. According to her, Father, would you say you will begin this in the future? I had taboo you. She moved upset and disappeared from him. The following morning, Luo additionally arrives at the spot of the film's shooting. He didn't pay attention to his girl. At the point when he was putting on something else in shooting, he recollected his pony. At the point when he thought that he was harmed, he tumbled down while mulling over everything. A great deal of things were happening to him, he was sorry to that film entertainer and left the work. Presently he proceeds to let his little girl know that I left that work. Hearing this, she was cheerful, I had denied this occupation interestingly. Hearing this, Luo's girl races to her father and embraces Red. Presently we are shown a court scene where Luo is battling a case for Red however he loses this case. Red's legal counselor hits up the other party and says, if it's not too much trouble, return that pony to Luo, as far as you might be concerned, the pony is a creature utilized in a game yet, for Liu, it is his family, still, they don't pay attention to him and disappear from here. Luo is shown miserable for Red and shares with Red that now our ways will be unique. Hearing this, Red carries boxing gloves to him that he ought to rehearse with once and for all. On this, he embraces Red and cries a great deal. Presently the following day, he had given Red to his new proprietor. Luo returns with his little girl and her companion however Red is behind his vehicle be that as it may, over and over, it slips and tumbles down due to the mud. He couldn't run as expected. Seeing this, Luo emerges from the vehicle and shares with Red, go to your new proprietor, presently don't return. Hearing this, unfortunately, Red returned to a miserable state. Luo likewise sits in the vehicle and cries a ton. Seeing this, the following day Luo's little girl goes to Red's new proprietor and educates him concerning her father. According to her, don't remove her closest companion from my father, he cherishes Red a great deal. The following day, Red is shown who was with Luo on the homestead. It moved to him and was awakening him like generally while holding his hair from its mouth. At the point when Luo wakes up and sees Red before him, he goes off the deep end with joy and embraces it. Luo's little girl, her companion and Red's new proprietor were observing this and the new proprietor says I plan to bring Red here tomorrow regardless of whether you came to me yesterday since Red's condition was equivalent to Luo's it left eating without Luo. Presently Luo and Red are displayed toward the finish of the story, Luo's girl and her companion race to them and they embrace Red. Here this story finishes up.